Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to add lipstick to your portrait photos. I have this photo of a little uh, young girl right here and I want to add a brighter colored lipstick to her lips here and it's really easy to do. It's kind of uh, what most people will call digital makeup and this is one of the aspects of digital makeup is adding lipstick here. And so it's going to be really easy and really quick and, and, and uh, it's going to be uh, able to be manipulated after we add the color on there. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a blank layer here. So we're going to go down here, click this button, and we have a blank layer. And now all we're going to do is we're going to zoom into the lips. I'm going to get a uh, slightly small brush. You can see the size of my brush here. I'm going to make sure it's feathered pretty good. So I'm going to take the hardness down to around 10. And then I'm going to choose a color. I have this bright pink color here, but I'm actually going to bump it down a little bit. And uh, it doesn't really matter what color you choose, but uh, for this one, I'm just going to do pink so, to, so it shows up really well over the lips. And now all I'm going to do is freehand draw over the lips. Uh, and sometimes you don't have to freehand this. If your lips are well-defined, you can actually use a, uh, a, a quick selection tool. But I like freehanding it so that way I have more control. So all I'm going to do is just draw over the lips just like this and just paint over the lips. All right, so there we go. Now it looks a little bit ridiculous, but but the way we blend that in is using a blending mode. So I'm going to go over here to the blending mode section, and I'm going to choose soft light. And as you can see, it kind of blends in a little bit more. You can actually see the highlights through there, uh, but it still looks a little bit fake, a little bit intense. And so one way you can do this, there's actually two quick methods that you can use. If you're happy with the color, you can take the opacity down and let it blend in a little bit more. So you can see this is the this is the uh, after. That's the before, so you can see it kind of blends in there. Or the method that I like to use is going down here and go to the adjustment layer mask or adjustment layer section and choose hue and saturation. And now I got this hue saturation panel up here, and I can just clip this to, uh, to clip the hue saturation layer to the blank layer. So all I'm going to do is hold Alt or Option, and you can see I get the little uh, square with the arrow down there. Click between the two layers, and now it's clipped. So now the only adjustments. Uh, only the adjustments to the lips will be affected here. So now I can take the saturation down. You can see how that affects it. Uh, I can change the brightness down. You can see how that affects it. Kind of blends it in, gives a little ma more natural look. I can even change the color if I want to. Uh, and uh, this is a way to uh, to keep the selection that you made, but you can uh, quickly change the color to whatever color you want, really. So I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to go to there and brighten it. Well, let's darken it a little bit. So right around there. So it's like a deep red on her lips. So this was the before right here. Uh, pretty simple, uh, easy, easy looking photo here. And now this is the photo with the digital makeup on. And it looks a, a really natural, really intense. And uh, I really like the effect. So if you want to just change the color again, just double click on the hue saturation layer and you can freely change the color right there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial. Head on over to sleeklens.com for more Photoshop actions, Lightroom presets, uh, overlays, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, this has been Jordan from sleeklens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.